All right. Uh, for one of my assignments, we are going to uh, break a uh, Google Mini appliance. Um, kind of just show you some errors that we get when we do different things and uh, what happens. So we're going to start off here with the appliance itself. I've already uh, opened it up and taken it apart. There were some uh, security screws on the side we had to drill out and then this big uh, sticker on the top that we had to uh, open up. So let's just peel it back here. Um, we're going to do this uh, single-handedly because I'm by myself and I also only have one hand right now. Uh, so just to start it off real fast, um, here's the insides again, just like the video. Uh, I just got power and VGA plugged in. Uh, I've already The drive is already wiped, so if we actually turn it on here, it's a little bit loud, but you can see the monitor here will boot up. And because the drive has nothing on it, uh, all we're going to get here is a little blinking cursor in a second. There you go. Um, so that just is uh, one of the errors we get. Um, the second thing we actually want to do is clear the BIOS or the CMOS settings. And that is right down here. Um, this uh, contact pad, if you can, my camera will focus. Um, we're just going to jump that with a screwdriver while we turn it on, and that should clear out the settings. So here we go. And to be honest, I have no way of knowing if that actually worked because I don't have a keyboard with me. So we still just have a uh, blinking cursor on the screen. Um, so the next step is um, actually going to not use the hammer, um, but <laughs> we're gonna I'm gonna set this up here so I can get another hand. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and pop out the RAM. Show what happens when it's nothing actually plugged in. And we get one long beep. Um, so let's go ahead and get those back in. Uh, and so next we want to actually unplug the um, CPU power, which is right over here. A little bit harder to get to. Here's the main board power we're going to unplug. And just see what happens when we unplug the CPU power that fan shroud back on there and plug the main board back in. Alright, let's see what happens. And at this point we don't actually get anything on the screen and we get no beeps whatsoever. Uh, kind of an interesting non-error. Let's turn it back off, plug the CPU back in, and let's just take out the CMOS battery, see what happens there. And it looks like our uh, clearing the CMOS worked there because it's trying to network boot, uh, which it wasn't trying to before. And we have two Broadcom NICs back here, and they're both trying to pixie boot over the network. Um, so I don't have anything plugged in, so you can't network boot. So it looks like the clearing the CMOS either worked the first time or pulling the battery actually worked. Um, outside of that, uh, we can unplug. Uh, this is our 
lead towards the power, so if we unplug that guy, um, we actually can't turn the unit on. And over here is just, uh, we got a fan, the fan connection over here. Let's see if it gives us a warning when we unplug that. Ah, now all we have is the fan from the power supply on, uh, so this CPU would get really hot pretty quick if we were actually doing anything on it, but it should still boot just fine. There's our image, and we should net boot here in a second. There we go. Let's get that plugged back in. Pulling the hard drive would have no effect because it's already wiped, so it's essentially like uh, nothing's plugged in at all. And so I think that's pretty much everything that we can uh, break on this guy, uh, at least without using the hammer. Um, and I do still want to use this later, so we won't do that this time. Uh, but otherwise, uh, we're all done.